Welcome back. You're watching Back Pages tonight, and it's welcome back to David Ornstein and Henry Winter. Gents, let's go to the back page of The Sun. Uh, Henry, your thoughts on Bruno Fernandes? Stay here, Bruno's is the headline. United skipper won't commit. Uh, just sort of hypothetical interview coming out of Portugal. How do you assess the United captain at, at the moment, his position at the club? A lot of talk about departures in the summer. Yeah, I mean, my Portuguese is not very good, but the gist <laughs> of it is that he's actually going to, very sensibly, he's just going to focus on the cup final, finishing up as high as Manchester United can, and uh, and then focusing on the uh, on the Euros. And then he'll make a decision after that. I mean, we've seen the headlines over the last few days that basically only three players are safe. Um, Kobe Menu, Rasmus Hoeland, and um, Alejandro Garnacho. But, but I'm sure Bruno Fernandes is. I mean, at least he cares. I know he moans at referees a lot, and that is really annoying. But he does care about Manchester United. And his, his goal record, his assist records, I think it's 15 and 11. You know, he's been contributing in a very poor season for Manchester United. So whether he's a classic Manchester United captain compared to days of old, probably not. But he does actually care. So I think he would... I would be amazed if the club wanted to let him go. But the sort of the broader issue of Manchester United effectively putting or seeming to put for sale signs on most of their squad, and you can understand it with, with some of them, they're on big wages. If they're underperforming, who is necessarily going to come in for all of them? So you know, I think it's a brave statement, although there are no quotes with it, but it's clearly well sourced, the fact that all these players are up for sale. But actually shifting them is going to be a huge, huge job. But you have to admire what um, Ratcliffe and Ineos are trying to do. I mean, I think the people they need to get rid of most from Manchester United are the Glazers. I think we need Ratcliffe just focusing on if he can take over the whole club and then focus on that, you'll have even more of the fans on side. And that, that is key because the Glazers are as much the problems as one or two underperforming, well, quite a few underperforming players. So what happens with the Glazers in the longer term? I, I assume a few Manchester United fans will agree with Henry, David, but how do you see the captain's position there? Been a great form of late, goal-scoring form, hasn't he? Do you think that makes him uh, unsellable or do you say, in a sense, is he one of the only assets they can make money on? Well, first, I'll pick up on what you described him as captain. And that was a contentious decision uh, when he replaced Harry Maguire. Uh, many United fans and observers don't think that he is the right person to lead Manchester United. On the flip side, he is leading oh, yes. by example with his performances, if not sometimes his um, conduct on the pitch. And, and he's got a very decent amount of goals and assists again this season. And so he's definitely one of United's... Uh, superior performers um in and amongst those who who might go the assets you mentioned i, I don't think he would be top of the list I, there's been a lot of conversation in this last 24 hours as ever around marcus rashford if suitable offers arrive and he would like to pursue a fresh challenge then that is who uh, manchester united might look to before um there'll be some others too the likes of Jaden sancho um uh, mason greenwood Etc. So uh, Bruno Fernandes comments are interesting, um, uh, but I guess pretty logical as well. He'll make a decision. He's under contract until 2026. That's normally the time with two years to go that you start thinking about renewals, although there is an option to extend further. Uh, I would assume Bruno Fernandes will be at Manchester United next season. Um, but what he's pointing to is a stark reality that United are going to look to shift a lot of players. There could be a lot of player changes at at the club this summer um, but how easy it is to actually move them on as Henry said uh, is a completely different matter we've seen difficulties at other clubs uh, somewhere like Arsenal they had to pay players to go and maybe that's something that Manchester United will consider but under the new regime they seem determined to improve things on and off the pitch and some tough decisions are going to have to be made just tonight we've seen two executives who are going to be departing at the end of the season um, and you suspect it's not the end of the alterations at Old Trafford just yet. 